Discipline a heretic once, and he will be temporarily loyal. Put him to the stake and burn him, and he will be loyal for eternity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Imperium of Man. We are about to go to war again with uh, just a ridiculously high amount of resources. But, regardless, Actually, not regardless, perhaps because of our state when it comes to resources, we go to war. Um, we want territory. Land, living spaces, territories, slaves. Not so much on the slaves part, but land and territory, hell yeah. Um, let's go. Those are my claims. I'll let a day tick by just to... Make sure those go through. And, uh. Well. Standing here we go. Commence offensive, operations. commence offensive operations. The Imperium is going to war, ladies. Two battle fleets should be enough Sol and Conma be involved in the fighting, as well as several detachments of Imperial Guard. Battlefleet Gothic is standing behind, um, way behind over here in the Gothic sector. Um, actually, I think this is technically in the Armageddon sector, but uh, staying way behind and uh, is going to be pretty much mothballed for the entirety of the mission. Safeguarding this area against potential invasion and... Uh, yeah, just, just being there as a, as a sort of first response force. In the meantime, plenty of combat to be had down here. I don't expect a stiff resistance from the enemy, but I do expect some resistance. So, let's begin. Where shall we begin? Over here? Looks like it. Here we go. Long range batteries are firing and uh, we've taken the first bit of territory. Both here and here with no losses. Okay, this will be a bit of a lengthy war though, mainly because I'm here to conquer territory and that takes time. It takes men, but mostly it takes time. Um, bombard and invade the planets properly. So that's going to take a little bit of doing, I'm afraid. But that is fine, that's what we're here for, we're not in a rush anywhere unlike last time. Where is this maybe though? It's 1.5k, the problem is with that kind of force is it can't do much. It can't sustain itself in a fight. Um, it can't occupy a lot of land because it starts taking damage from the defenses. Again, I, I, I use the word land. Just, just no. It's nothing to do with land. The only bit of land we're going to occupy is uh, a few of these planets and fleets of um, only are only partially going to be responsible for that. But yeah, they they can't occupy a lot of territory for, for that reason, so... I'm mostly going to ignore them, is, is the reason I'm saying that. Good news, though, is that these things are uh, relatively powerful. So they're not just regular stations, they are relatively powerful, so... Oh, and this thing is right for the taking. Good. So, uh... Move, I don't know, I guess down there for now, we can always come back, but we need to start cutting off their, their troops. Ideally, I position a fleet here, and they're just screwed, like they've lost the war at that point. But we need to get there, and we need to occupy stuff in order to get there, so, and also if the frame rate is permitting. Uh... 
Oh, yeah, you two have signed a peace treaty of sorts. Yeah, again, a, a pointless war with not much was gained. Fair enough. Uh, what about this area here? It's gonna take a while to bombard that, yeah? It's fine. It's fine. Mostly waiting for the fleet from over here to get its, uh, itself into position. Okay. Hmm. They don't seem all too capable of defending themselves, I'm I'm sorry to say. Because uh yeah, this seems a bit I don't know, overwhelming is one way of putting it. Sorry, underwhelming. <laughs> That's no, so overwhelming is the wrong way of putting it, thank you. Quite the opposite, in fact. It seems a bit underwhelming, this entire war. Like, there's a bit of a fleet there, which is about to get cut off from whatever it's trying to do. I don't know. That's fine, I suppose. It's just taking a while to... Uh achieve all this. Did I not order you to land? I'm pretty confident I clicked that button. There you go. Engage. There you go. You got them. Okay, there we go. We're gonna take out... Are you really gonna suicide your fleet in like that? Ah, mind you, I'm... I like to conjure up situations in which they could win, potentially, but this... I'm struggling to find a way in which they could win, honestly. I really am. They don't have... I think, I think the problem is they don't have the fleet strength to take back the stuff they lost. They lost now and the day they will lose. Um, I think that's, the, that's their main issue. But no sort of war of attrition can be waged here. No sort of uh, well, anything really. I don't see a I don't see a hope for them. Which Construction complete. You know, not to spoil anything too badly, but uh, yeah, I doubt this goes very well for the Athea Sacrosan Pact. And you know what? They deserve it. They bloody well deserve it. But. Ambitious little bastards, is what I'll call them. Decided that it's a good idea to attack me while I'm at my weakest. Well, behold. Turns out, we're not all that shabby, are we? I'm going to let this uh, Starbase counter go up a little bit. I don't need any more energy, I need minerals, and uh, I think I'm going to build a couple of, uh... I'm going to try and take it back. Gonna... Oh, you're not taking this back, you're, you're just garrisoned there for the time being, right. Where was I? Yeah, they, uh... Oh, not they. Where was I? Yes, the, um... Counter. I'm going to need a few more star bases, I think, with shipyards and, and the likes soon in, like, the remote areas of uh, of the Imperium, so I'd like to build those, but for that we're going to need to let this tick up a little bit. A few, a few stations extra on top of this, so I think we can, uh, we can wait for that. Looking at the overall happiness of the Imperium, people seem... I mean, just very, very happy overall, so... This is pretty good for me. Positioning ourselves as a rival of at least three nations. Am I not a rival of, it, of at least three? I totally am, right? Rival of those. Rival of those. I'm not a rival of you? Am I not your rival? Come on. Get serious here. 
this faction is now elated with me, and uh, other than the bonus influence, they're at 84% happiness. You could not be happier at this stage, could you? Uh, good. Good. Shows as well in research production. Research production? What the hell is research production? In resource production. Uh, my apologies, it is like 3 a.m. in the morning. 500 minerals while two fleets are active. What? What is life at this stage? Can someone please tell me what is life at this stage of the game? Because I have won. I see no feasible way of this being turned on its head in any way, shape or form. The only problem is these bombings take ages to finish. And that gives you... Did you announce this raid like a few years ago and are coming to actually go through with it now? Because that's what it seems like to me. Now, unfortunately, by the time Gothic, the Gothic fleet gets to you, Enemy you're going to be a little bit late and you're going to probably ruin half my economy in the region. Not that I'm worried about that or anything. Though, so... Yeah. Go ahead, be my guest. These guys I'm slightly uh, uncomf uncomfortable with being there though, because they are somewhat capable. This will get upgraded to a next level fortification though, which is a good thing. We'll probably get there before they arrive, so be able to defend yourself from the enemy fleet, at least a little bit. Too many resources, just way too many resources. Here we go, have some. 2.4k. Eh, not enough to defeat the fleet, but... Good enough to dream of defeating the fleet at one point, yeah? Uh, I see no reason not to do this between me and you. Because... Uh, as far as the energy upkeep is concerned, we don't care much for it, as you can see. And uh, as far as the mineral upkeep, it doesn't have one. So, overall, pretty okay with what's going on here. Gonna take ages to take these planets though. They've prepared for this. This is how they intend on winning. By sitting in their home worlds while I turn them to dust. This is why you crack worlds, right? This is why you build titans. The stupid situations like these. Is there any chance of me winning this, by the way? Probably not, right? Nah. No way in hell. Though. We'll do a decent number on them. Hmm. I'd like to take that back as soon as possible. What are the chances of you just landing and winning here? Very slim, right? Alright. I can wait. One next to it is. Uh... It's creating extra work for me, honestly, and I don't appreciate that. But again, the irony of this entire situation is you're the only ones actually capable of doing any conquering, and that comes at a price, as you can see. Hmm. Another fleet of theirs right there. I can't go on with these terror bombings and pretend like the war doesn't exist. Or can I? Building out of action. It's 
Excuse me? Slavers have landed on Sidonis. Sidon, sorry. Sadon, whatever. Yes, it's Sadon. And you just cleared out the planet of half the metahumans there. I ought to pulverize you. Oh, I ought to pulverize you. Where's my fleet? You can't track them to their homeland, right? That's not something you can do, but if I could, I would go to your home world and I would burn it to the ground. Matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You though, um I don't have a good raiding target. We're already raiding, okay. When you're done raiding, I don't have a good raiding target. You're gonna send them against the Athea? No, that'd be evil. That'd be like Pouring salt upon wounds. No, 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 no. Not that evil, not that vile. Um, my idea was to send them against the Albanian Republic. If they sent raiders after me, I might as well return the favour, correct? Say so what? That's good enough for me. Have the armies land. We're taking back. Uh, Three planets in that sector. As for you, keep firing. This is a war of attrition for them. They're losing ships, they're losing people this way. This is this is okay with me. This I'm okay with this 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 type of warfare. Taking evasive action. It's gonna take a while to uh Oh, you, you found the, the correct way to run away. Yeah. Right into the enemy fleet. It's a, it's a good way. Way to go. Way to go. And it's creating a bit of work that I need to do after everything is said and done, but... I really think you can win this. One... Thank you. One shot the... Idiot trying to attack it. Yeah. A lot more? Probably not. Um, you tell me I didn't tell you to invade this place. Does it change when you assign the general? Do their orders change? They might. I don't know. All sword brown elements are dropping on target. But we're gonna lose a few dozen men here. Tell you what, go and take back this area and I'll start building Assault army reinforcements from here because realistically, what else am I going to keep all these minerals around for? Might as well use them on something, correct? Taking evasive action. Are you kidding me? We might, we might actually lose this invasion. Disgrace. Painful display. What about you? Uh, I think you'll wait for the general. Yeah, wait for the general. Did we get him? Uh, sort of. Right, how many survived? Fifteen. Those are good numbers. So what, this here area has gotten a little bit ridiculous. Why don't you land, do a bit of a test. The orders apparently don't change. Who would, who would have thought? You now have a job to do. And that is to undo everything they have done recently.
Did you follow the uh, raiding fleet? No. They've left friendly territory. Okay. Ooh, two worlds have finished uh, the terraforming thing, would you? I'll do that later. I, I can't be bothered right now. Those two planets aren't going to change the fate of the Imperium, I'm pretty sure. How I conduct this war will not either, actually. It's, it will not. My my input and efficiency in this war will not change anything either, but it's more interesting to blow things up rather than colonize stuff. Ah, the things we say. Did you just murder everyone here? In like an instant? Probably. Okay. Just yeah, just wondering. Uh I'm gonna put these two menus away for now. I'm put this menu away for now. I'm gonna focus on the war. So you can merge with them. Yep. This as is not landing. Why are you not landing? I need you to land on the planet and murder the idiots living on it. You've made your job a hell of a lot more difficult now. But uh, behold the might of the Imperial Navy. Those are torpedoes? Those are very big torpedoes. Ooh, research finished. We have battleships! Nice! Nice, we have battleships. Hmm. Okay, well, that. <laughs> I mean, that's. Hmm. Uh, explosion, explosion damage plus 15%. I think that's helpful for the overall statistics, but yeah, I'd rather have like a better kinetic artillery. 130 months. How much does this... It's just 33 months though. We're going to get it done quickly. Okay, but let's go over to the ship designer and take a look at our first battleship. The Maximus. Hostilian uh, Nero, you know, yeah, Nero. We're gonna design our battleships on our own soon. Matter of fact, right after this war is has ended, but let me tell you that this is gonna be one design for a battleship. Nothing but kinetic artillery on it, and uh, a few shields, a little bit of armor. Moved artillery computers. Yeah. At any rate, that's for uh, that's for the future. For now, our cruisers are more than enough. And uh... hmm. Yeah. Okay. Return to uh. I'm gonna return to sender, as we say. You're nearly done with your work. You are done with your work. Do you have any chance of winning here? You have a realistic chance of winning. Okay. Go and rid me of that last bit. Like so. And, uh... You three are going to group up with this lot as soon as their war is uh as, soon as their ground war is done. Reports all ground objectives secured. One, two, three, we're that lot. And there you go. Right. Foreign Not just sending fleet um or rather ships as, as reinforcements, we're now sending 
in uh, proper uh, well, what's the word proper uh, troops as well you managed to conquer this place yet yeah, you have congratulations you're right on time for uh nobody move nobody move we've got them <laughs> right fire lovely I want you to take back the uh, place though mm, are they trying to regroup some of their fleets here uh, not really I don't have much of a fleet there okay so go and bombard the uh, other planet in that area you when you're done go and uh, that that's been taken, so go go take back this thing, and we'll probably hit them there. We have claimed a new world. Right, we've claimed a new world. Um, oh wow, let's pause. It is Meridian. Yes, it is. I'd like control over Meridian. Yes, I would. I would like control over Meridian, so... My control over Tetrion, Avalon, that one, that one, that... Oh, really? I can't have it? Are you serious now? But I want it. These are all my core worlds, goddammit. Nervous head scratch. Okay, I'll create a new sector, just for Meridian, just for that area actually, just for that thing. And it will be the Meridian sector, right? Yeah, so when this cap is increased by one, I'm going to remove that, because I'd like six planets under my control. I'll do a much better job than the AI can. Well, <laughs> that's debatable, but... Uh, I genuinely think I, I, I can do fine. Plus, it's not about the job uh, in terms of managing it. It's more about the actual uh, resources and where they flow. Sector missing resources. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Two thousand of each. Enjoy. I still haven't repaired any of the battle fleets, and they do need a, a breather every now and again. I do well to remember that. Hmm. A planet here? Yeah, there is. You have a lot of planets. Not complaining. Not complaining, just noticing. Quite a lot of planets. Gonna be interesting taking them all on. Why don't you fix yourselves up? We've been through some, some combat. I'd rather not lose any ship. I could help it. Besides, we are not in a rush. Well, maybe we're in a little bit of a rush, but no, not really. Right, this is going to be interesting. Where, oh where are you going with that invasion force? Well, wherever you were going, the answer is nowhere right now. There you go. Most of your men are now dead. We'll go take territory from them. Just, just straight up clean territory. And I'll leave it to uh, this battle fleet to deal with the rest. Gothic is still on its way, yeah? Okay. Gone that. 
have your orders, turn it to ash. You close your borders towards me. You've been insulting me. Well, I'm going to say non-stop. It's not true. It's not non-stop. But you've been insulting me fairly frequently. And you remember to shut the borders now. Alright. Whatever you say. Hmm... Right. Well, keep it going then. Pro tip, don't respond to YouTube comments while recording, it's rather distracting. Rather not respond, but don't actually read them while recording. Um, though it does does kill a bit of time. It does save time rather. But uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Um, really? Oh, mercenaries again. You're really fond of these fuckers, aren't you? It's fine. I have a fleet on its way, especially for them. Is it, is it really worthwhile having six to seven tiny little fleets? Construction complete. I don't know. This is I'm I'm genuinely asking in in a situation like this. Do you really need those six to seven tiny little fuckers just to annoy me? Mind you, I'm not complaining about anything, about any balance situations or whatever, because compared to the way this used to be, this is heaven. Because if I were to attack them a few patches ago, a few DLCs ago, they would have sent each and every one of their ship individually to each and every one of my systems and would have attacked them, would have attacked the mining outpost there, forcing me to sign a treaty of god knows what. Just to save my stuff. So, yeah. Needless to say, not ideal. Comet sighted. Ooh, alright. Sorry, it's a bit of a... it's a bit of a... Uh, what's the word? It's trauma, you know, it's 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 PTSD, it's trauma from other Paradox games, where whenever you read a comment you go, oh no! But here it's actually a good thing. For once. Right, there you go. Um, I'll tell you what, clean them out, but if you do then the troops can't, eh, uh, it's fine, we'll send these guys in. If you get in there, you can't leave. You, know, you can check out any time of day, but you can never leave. You can't win here. You have no power here. No, you, you genuinely don't, though. Here's the thing. You, you genuinely do not. This anywhere near done? Nope. <laughs> the question is now not if I can win, but the question is if I can uh, win before I get myself to 100 exhaustion. Because that's a little bit annoying. You are going to win this fight, correct, Station? And this is Deep Space Nine here, and you can't lose this. Fair enough, they got a couple of cruisers, but, you know, 
You're a space station. You're supposed to be strong. Tough. Durable. Eternal, even. <laughs> oh, the first shitstorm. Well, did you get mercenaries as well? Where are you finding these mercenaries, all of you? You. Another good raiding target. We're raiding now. Yep. You. As much as I hate you, I know I have a good raiding target. Yeah. This is the Bedros Nation. 3,000 energy to teach him a lesson? Go. Of course, this is highly off the records and nobody in the Imperium knows about this. This is, uh, some top secret stuff. But, uh, shh. Nobody needs to know. Right, I think you've caused enough damage, mainly because I can't wait anymore. Land troops begin the assault. Move to the next system. Do I need to take that out? No. No, I do not. Is there a planet here? Yes, there is. Lovely. You're next. Actually, there's a planet there with a stupid amount of forces in it. Oh, and uh, don't worry. We will have your reinforcements ready as soon as you take the planet over, which you realistically should be able to do with a time like this, for reasons rather obvious. What about this one? Is it well defended? Eh, it's relatively well defended. My fleet has arrived! Lovely! And you were kind enough to wait for it, look at that. Look at that. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives mm. secure. Thirteen survived. Okay. Join them up. Um, you're getting sent over there. This is the 2.9k fleet. Okay. Yeah, heavy, heavy bombardment. Is everyone set on heavy bombardment? Indiscriminate bombardment, whatever. Yeah, make sure everyone's set on. Everyone's set to that, rather. Uh. You've not lost any ships, congratulations. Good, good work. No? No, still no ships lost. Good. Good. Where do you intend on going? Uh think you have to. That's alright. 2.4 versus 2.7. I'm thinking I'll probably lose this one, but. Not the worst thing in the world. You'll actually cripple the attacking fleet anyway, so. Yeah, let's make sure you murder a decent bit of the civilian population as well. Which. The things I say in this game really is. Uh, Really, uh, I don't know. I surprise myself at times, and I play CK2. Wouldn't believe the stuff that we say in that game that perfectly legitimate, true, works, helps. People asking for tutorials and, and advice and stuff like that. Fair enough, I make tutorials, but like, watch those videos. Watch those obnoxious videos, like. 
Satan provides better healthcare than anyone else in medieval Europe or whatever. And all of that is factually correct. In this case, when attacking a planet, oh sorry, when bombarding a planet, make sure to kill a large number of the civilian population. True. True, you want to kill a decent number of the civilians. Can you actually win this? I mean, you've gutted the fleet. You've absolutely gutted the enemy fleet. But, just, just wondering. Also wondering, when do the, uh, when do the raiders get here? Rather uh, curious about that. Hey, another good raiding target. Mind. Never mind. Is this ready for my conquest? Yes, it is. What on earth are you? Alright, let's just make sure you're uh, undesirable and that we are exterminating you. Systematically. There we go. Land the armies. Actually, and the general first. Land the armies. You. Well, Battlefleet Sol is going to go all the way up there. I feel like you should go down there and then down that route. Maybe something like that. Thirteen only in this army. Are they going to receive reinforcements? Yes, actually, just now. Okay. God, this has got to be the toughest fight this fleet has ever seen, and they're actually going to win. Wow. Science division reports a new. Not that that will help you at all in the wrong in the long run. Actually. You might have even preferred to have lost that, believe it or not. Uh, uh, takes so long, everything takes so long. Get me a citadel. There's a reason for that. I think one of these leads to mega structures. One of these leads to uh, titans. I'm not sure which one, but yeah, whichever it'll help. Power plant three would be a bit ridiculous at this stage, considering the energy available to us right now. Tachyon sensors might help. Physics lab two. You're not sure. Let's get the lab. Mm. Okay. And uh, you coming here with the intention of taking this thing back? Some people they just never learn, eh? I have too many minerals. This is this is a joke, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Tell you what, I'd resource silo. Resource silo. That's all right. It's a metal station. That's up there. You have a shipyard. You have an anchorage. Another anchorage. Two trading hubs. Two, full, new. Awful trading company. Two trading hubs. New. Resource silo. Trading hub, trading hub. 
Basal soil out. Trading hub, trading hub. Basal soil out. Shockingly, Barra Trading Hubs, Awful Trading Company, Nebula Refinery. Barra Trading Hubs, Awful Trading Company, Resource Silo. Right, that should increase my resources cap, not, not should, that will, period, increase my resource cap, which I need for two reasons. One, I'm getting to the cap way too quickly. A bigger, um, a bigger bank is always better. Not financial advice, just Stellaris advice. But uh, it's it's not just that. It's also that I might need this. I might need this for. Uh... Sorry, that was a hilarious, hilarious thing to need. Um, I just got three messages. The exact same contents go to sleep. Period. Uh, it's I, I... <laughs> oh, I have awesome friends. I'm sorry. That is just... usually you ignore stuff like that. Like you don't comment on stuff like that. I I, I accept. I apologize. I, I shouldn't, but that was hilarious. Somebody lost a few ships. You did. That's fine. Um. Take that thing over. And now... I'm getting a bit distracted by several things. One is combat, the other one is what I'm trying to say. And the third one is... Third and fourth one is the stuff that's happening around me. Take that thing over. Get rid of that lot. Push over in that direction. Done. Conma. This is why I would this is why I made a, a two-minute pause. Is this ready for takeover? Yes, it is. Get the army in, land the army. Good. Now, why do I need resource silos? Um, if I'm gonna build mega structures, I'm gonna need more. Uh, minerals to hurl at the thing at once. So resource silos help if you need like 30,000 minerals to Build something instantly. I don't think you ever need that much, but regardless of the fact this helps <sighs> There we go. I think I said everything I had in that one train of thought which had like 12 different compartments in it Ah, but there is one compartment more um, Armies from here not stupid enough to all sword drown elements are dropping on target yeah you're not stupid enough to, to lift off now because this is in the in their control ah good 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 my soldiers or at the very least a part of my soldiers are somewhat intelligent good right we've won the war now there's no now there's I mean we won the war before it was declared, let's be honest, but we there is no thinking left to do anymore. And this is just on autopilot until we uh, secure a few more. Secure a few more planets. Also, um Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives secured. We're gonna need reinforcements first of all, though. We're gonna need reinforcements for the armies from here. Can we not build them from these planets too? Yes, but there's three planets here, and it's sort of relatively quick. You, how many survived? Fifteen. Not bad. Not bad. These three, I'm gonna merge with them. You. I'm gonna go somewhere, I just have no idea where yet. Ooh! Enemy fleets! Yes, lovely. Take them. <clears throat> Get 
Okay, that thing needs to fall. And uh, no, this is the wrong map you've put me in. Yeah. That thing needs to fall as well. I think we're ready. More or less. Managed to draw them into combat. Uh, part of them. Good part of them. There we go. This is your last dying breath. And with this secured, it also opens up a new route for reinforcements. We can now send in that direction. Okay. And the Gothic is nearly done with its thing as well. There we go. How deep do we want to go with this? Walkers, they would settle for a status quo right now. Make claims. Uh, right, I might as well claim this to have it. I think we end on status quo. I think. Because. This is mine, I just want to make sure. This is mine, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. Now that one is, we know. This one is. Both of these are. Ah, see, this one is not. I knew I missed something. Land. Curse you. And I have claims up here, so there's really no reason for you not to push all the way forward and secure me a rather hefty victory. As for you, um, go and get repairs, basically, and you're done. Okay. Now, um, see, I stopped here, but that's the that's the wrong course of action. I want to probably stop somewhere in this region. Ah, uh, but there's a pirate fleet. Mm, no. No, tell you what. Here's an idea. It's a bit of a crazy idea, but I think it's worth it. Knock that thing out. Everyone's happy. Go to their capital and bombard the living hell out of it with no intention of me ever setting foot there. You're going to repair yourselves up to full strength, and while Battlefleet Gothic holds the line here, I'm going to send you to kill one of the Spectres. Ground objective secured. How does that sound? Do you want to... Do, do any of you want to be heroes? Because I'm giving you a chance to be heroes. How about that? Hmm. What was that? I don't like that. Hey, we, we talked about you. You're irrelevant. Hey. Reinforcements for anyone? Anyone? No? 17 and 18, that's fine for me. By my standards. So, you're going over there. Sol, it's always Battlefleet Sol that's put in these situations, but to hell with it. What do you mean you can't get there? Oh, um, can't get there because of the FPL inhibitor, right? Right. FPL inhibitors, plural. Fine. Fine, I will send my men in. I will make more claims. And I think I genuinely need just one more. 
and we're ready. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because then you have a clear route all the way down. I think that's worthwhile, because if I don't do it now, it's going to take a while, right? It's going to take a while to get to uh, all the right things. Hmm. And I suppose only fair that we send in reinforcements behind them. Because you never know what they might need. Bomb that place. So the troops get here. Actually, don't even bother bombing it. Because it's so damn tiny. Move to the next station. You do not have a commander. I feel like you deserve one. To be 5th Army. All landing there. It's an Arctic world. It's a terrible world. Would you have it? Mind you, I understand. I have pressed you for a uh, choice a little bit, so. That much is clear to me. What's over there? It's a continental world. That, that's almost worth getting. Almost. Ah, now this is a proper fortress world, isn't it? Yep, that's defended to high hell. That's fine, though. Can you actually... Mm. Right, you can't. So this is the world we're going to need to take in order to advance onward. Well, reduce it to ruin and rubble, I say. That's a really well defended place. Hmm. You no, know I'm not even sorry that I lost a few ships here. Mostly because I have nothing better to do with my minerals, but, you know, other than that, there are other reasons too. <laughs> uh, God, really? Don't be like that. Just, just you know, just, just lay over and die. Just play dead. Play dead and I'll have mercy on you. Uh, this will help you get a little bit of experience, maybe. Another medal, another ribbon, right? All sword brown elements are dropping on target. Correct. Ground objective secured. Right, excellent. Next. Oh, so you've arrived. Um. <laughs> Raiding fleet that the Jengonian sent to the Southern Earth after we encouraged them. They called back for their host system. Their fleet cargoes are full of captured loot and slaves. Raid has ended successfully. Really? Good. Good. What about you? How about you raid the Alvanian Republic? I'll pay you good money for it. You're right there. Just cross the border. Burn Alvis to the ground. Again. Secret military operations nobody knows about. Shh. Not even you. The first rule of these operations is we don't talk about these operations, okay? They don't talk about the Imperium's proxy wars. And how it encourages Xenos to murder other Xenos. Really, if you think about it, it makes so much sense. I'm encouraging Xenos to kill other Xenos. I'm This is 4D chess right here, isn't it? It's lovely.
Good. Now, would you be interested in dropping these forces down so that I may then consequently drop mine and win after your invasion fails? What do you mean, no? Fine. Actually, why don't I give him a chance? Yeah. I'm going to give you a chance to do that. I'm going to repair this fleet, and I'm just going to sit here. If you take over this world, that's fine by me. You can keep it. No. Matter of fact, it's more than fine. Um... Going after the Spectre. Good. You lot over and done with. Um, now for your capital. Is there any pragmatic reason for doing this? No. 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 Realistically, none whatsoever. Next question. <laughs> Given the ethics attraction, unrest reduced by 20 more planets. This is all worthless to me. This was important. This is not, though. Colonial Viceroys. Colonial Viceroys is good. I'm going to take Colonial Viceroys. Then we'll continue down the science route after that. But tell you what, I think this is quite enough for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, I'm going to wrap this war up, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, I don't know what else. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to rename those planets, and uh, we'll see what comes up. Probably just wait around a little bit. Prepare for the next war with these guys up here, which I've systematically weakened over the course of the last few months. Until then, though, I bid you all farewell, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.